destruction. It doesn't sound like such a positive thing. And Shiva is the destroyer. We usually hear that Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the sustainer, and Shiva is the destroyer. But then we also told there's only one God. There is. And all these three, creation, sustenance, and destruction, is part of one process. When a seed becomes a sapling, is that creation or destruction? Most people will say creation, of course, because a plant is growing. Yes, but the seed is destroyed. And most people will say, well, that doesn't matter. That's what the seed is meant to do. It's meant to become a plant. Definitely it does. But when we look at a process, we realize that in every stage, one thing ends and another thing starts. Vijay Gurudev Swami Chinmayananda used to give this example that the seed becomes a sapling, the sapling becomes the plant, the plant becomes a tree, on the tree the leaves become the flowers, and then the flowers become the fruit. In this whole process there is creation and destruction. When we look at it, in creation there is destruction, and in destruction there is creation. And in this continuous process of creation and destruction, life is sustained. And so all three is just the flow of life itself. In the beginning, we see it as separate. Brahmaji is the creator, Vishnu is the sustainer, and Shiva is the destroyer. But when we see it holistically, there's no need to compartmentalize them as separate. It's just one flow of life. And so Shiva is the destroyer, yes. But in destruction, there is also creation and sustenance. And so he is actually the very flow of life, just as they all are.